So, Hamid's man, like, what do you think? What do you think the biggest? If you, if you're a new producer, right, you're just coming into the, into the industry right now, or not even industry into like the online beat selling game. And I don't even think we should be looking at it as the online beat selling game. I think you should look at it as your business. You're an entrepreneur. How are you packaging up your sound, your branding, your vibe, whatever it is, um, and getting it out there. Like, what do you think is the single most important thing that like somebody new or somebody who just recently started should be doing? I know it's a hard question, but <laughs> um, a lot has changed. But I mean, like, yeah. is it is it making a YouTube channel and driving traffic? Is it, you know, uploading to, you know, SoundCloud and other places to drive traffic? Is it paid advertising? Like what, what, what do you think is, is the best way? Um, and is it just a consistency thing, you know, and just getting yeah. better with time? I mean, if you could sum it yeah. up. No, that's a good question. Um, I'm trying to break it down and think of like one thing that would like, if you do this, everything else will kind of take care of itself. But when I, when I think about that, um, you know, assuming the person is like newer, um, I would just encourage them to like be true to themselves mm -hmm. and, and use that, uh, like, uh, use that energy and like passion for music mm -hmm. to impact every other, um, every other lane. So like a perfect example would be like when I started, I remember uploading beats on YouTube in like 2015 and they were like boom bap old school stuff. And I remember people would comment and be like, yeah, this is cool. But like, this sounds like 1995. So like, nobody's ever going to want to rap on this. Nobody's going to ever uh, buy this beat from you. And I like, at first I was like, Oh, maybe they're right. Maybe I have to like, try this. Maybe I have to try that. Cause you know, going back, like at that time, Superstar O and Vibe and Johnny Giuliano, like that was who was killing it mm -hmm. um, in, the, in the game. And so, you know, there was like a big chunk of a year where I think I probably stunted my growth because I was trying to do all these different things. Like I was trying to like, oh, well, you know, they're doing, they're, they're successful doing that thing. So maybe I should try that. But what, when I look back on it, I was really kind of just like jumping from thing to thing. And then eventually I, I kind of just had this moment where I was like, you know what? No, I'm just going to figure out what I like most and try to perfect that area. And then eventually once I get really good at that, expand into other things. And so for me, that looked like, okay, I'm going to focus on boom, bad beats. And then eventually once I get really good at that, I can, you know, expand into other areas, but um really that came from from me like just loving that sound and loving you know like that was what was most fun to me and I was most interested in that and so I think I was able to um give more time and like really just like get addicted and like spend ridiculous hours like trying to figure out how to get better at that specific sound because I loved it so much and I think that a lot of new people maybe they're just oh this person's doing that i'll try that and then they try it and then it's not actually true to like who they are or what mm -hmm. they actually really want to do in the long term yep. and then when they're not successful they jump on the next thing and uh that's not knocking like any genre by any means but as long as like you're genuinely interested in it yourself like that's the number one thing that will um take you to the next level in all of the other areas that it takes to be a successful like online business really in general so facts 